Hey everyone, welcome back to Call to Arms Gets of Hell Ost Front and another epic battle. Today we are doing infantry versus infantry, Soviets against the Germans. So the first line is the early war variant, second line is mid war and the third line is late war. Uh, today once again the Germans outnumbered the Soviets in terms of I think uh, 5 to 7 more troops. So there are at uh, there are 174 Germans. I'm not sure about that number, but I think I saw 174 and 167 Soviet soldiers. But we don't know who's gonna win. The last man standing will have their flag standing. If the Germans win, then they will have their German flag standing on the battlefield. But if the Soviets win, then they will have theirs standing in the battlefield all right we're gonna click start and see who wins today's battle can the germans win again or will the soviets win in infantry power because they lost big time in the battle between the german tanks and the soviet tanks okay looks like the germans have spotted the soviets so did the soviets and the battle has started Look at this. So I have given every soldier, flamer, medic, engineer, anti-tank, everything. Let's see. Tank man, Holschmieger on the German side. The Soviets also have paratroopers, NKPD, and these are the elite Soviet troops, the Marines. Now there are also partisans. Anti-tank guns are, have equipped themselves with the uh, like pistols. So Soviets versus the Germans. Who will win? This is gonna be fun. Whoa, it's lagging a bit, but it's not a problem. Lots of troops on the battlefield doing a lot of things. Whoa, 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 whoa. Do not lag that much. Okay. So it's hard to determine if the soldiers are just lying on the battlefield or are they really dead because I see a lot of Soviet soldiers dead and also uh, same thing on the German side. A lot of them are, oh no, they're not actually dead, they're just lying down shooting at the Soviets. Alright, let's check on the minimap. The ratio is uh, like 60-40 at this moment. Oh, actually not 60-40, 70-30. Okay. Alright, looks like the Soviets are falling back. Their numbers have been reduced. Okay. Where will you go? There is no escape from this battlefield. Actually, the Germans have more variants in Gets of Hell than the Soviets. That's why they won't. They are winning both of the battles in terms of tanks and now in terms of infantry. Three Soviet soldiers left. This was a quick battle by the way. Alright, last one. Is that all? Oh no, that's not all because the flag is still standing. There's the radio guy. Artillery signaler. He's still alive. Oh my god, flamethrower guy is coming. Oh, we have another Soviet soldier in the distance. Oh, another one. Alright, this guy is down. We have some Soviet soldiers here. Oh, now it's over. Now it's officially over. 
One flag is standing. All right, looks like the Germans once again won today's battle. And uh, they took only a few casualties. For example, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 24, 25. So less than 30. All right, less than 30. German casualty less than 30 and Soviet casualty 100%. Right, so that's decided. The most powerful faction on in Getzofel is the German army. Okay, the German flag is standing high. The Wehrmacht flag actually is standing tall on this battlefield. Last time they won with their tanks today the infantry have won again all right so thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed this epic battle once again all right you guys were wanting this wanting to see this so if you want to try it out for yourself go ahead try it out i think i should have given the battlefield a, lit a little bit more cover but either way the germans won big time major victory for them on today's battle. Alright, so thank you guys. I'll see you guys next time.